Yo, it's your boy, on today's video we have Solo Leveling, episode 4. And yeah, we got another great chapter. I just really like this anime so far, just the pacing, the action, the animation. It is just really great, really nothing really to complain about. So yeah, let's just see what happens in this episode, shall we guys? And yeah, our main protagonist, uh, Jin Woo, uh, he decided to go to this dungeon by himself with basically no weapons. And he has to survive. And yeah, he has to survive this uh, dungeon all by himself. And you know, for the most part, he he was doing good with this tiny little life, defeating like goblins. But yeah, it seems like whenever you're in this dungeon, it just gets harder and harder. As we see, there's more enemy types, and they just get stronger and stronger. And he's having like a real tough time defeating these wolves with like metal fangs in their metal they have metal jaws and the, all he could do was dodge them and yeah he was trying to find like an idea what to do he was just running he was trying to get even his backpack for something but for whatever reason he just thought on an idea and he just says inventory the magical hub appears and he actually has an act and yeah he actually has inventory in it with a sword, with an actual good sword. And yeah, now it's like a fair fight. So yeah, he, def he defeats one werewolf, but now there's more of them. And you could tell that he's not he, he's not used to weapons because uh, he kind of <laughs> got his weapons stuck. So he still has to get used to all this new stuff that he's getting. And not only that, but he looks, he does look a little faster and stronger from the, all that training he did. And killing these werewolves, do help him too. They get him like to level up, so he gets to heal. And he was scared a bit, but uh, fighting those stones, guys, they're like way, way more scarier than these puny wolves. So even though that death scene kind of haunted him, it kind of helped him with these wolves as he clearly easily defeats them. And yeah, everything was getting good here. One wolf decided to run away and. If you know anything about wolves, they have like a whole wolf pack. And this time it was him against like who knows, maybe 20 others. But you know, this time he's he, he got more comfortable with the sword. He was slicing and dicing all of them. And the sword was getting a little weak too. And yeah, fast forward and we're finally into our, like our final boss. And yeah, this boss was stronger than those tiny wolves and that was like this venomous snake with like this armor scales around him so I, you could tell that this his knife wasn't gonna really do nothing especially now it's all kind of broken-ish the snake really looked cool it was just him trying to dodge his best but this snake is really fast he tried to use his knife multiple times and this scene with the snake is kind of hard to explain everything yeah, it was just a great fight. It was mostly him dodging. And when he kind of like was feeling down, like he felt like he was going to lose. He kind of gave himself like a pep talk. Gave him himself like an own speech. He even gave like a flashback of like, you know, when everyone called him like the, the most useless hunter ever. And this kind of motivated him to become this strong. And he finally defeats this snake. And it felt really good and it was just a really amazing fight he got really good armor some cool like stuff like poison stuff because it's a it's a venomous snake so yeah he defeats it and as soon as he defeats the snake the dungeon is over and he's back to the normal subway and in the real world there is like a actual gate opening where uh, it seems like the other hunters were having like a bit of struggle just to beat him and he was going to get there and be and yeah he was going to go there and help him a bit and yeah most of these fighters were like d ranks e ranks really low levels i'm not sure where the other like high rank people are at you know because uh, this monster was out in the city so kind of shocked about that but yeah he, he sees this monster and he just throws his little sword at him like 20 yards away or 20 feet away it was pretty far 
And that, but that was enough to weaken him and dies. And everyone, all the hunters were shocked, like, who threw this sword? But Jinwoo didn't want to take credit and he just disappeared. And maybe this is some kind of like, there's gonna be like rumors now of this super like overpowered like hunter that no one knows about that everyone's gonna be like uh, rooming about in a couple of days and yeah guys that is the end of the episode and you know as soon as he was about to leave the the scene of the the, the, the fight uh, the girl I forgot her name so yeah the healer Lee Jonghee she was actually there in the fight she was trying her best to help but she's having like the worst PTSD still from the statues because yeah it was pretty bad and brutal can't believe they let her do that but you know nothing happened to her and she actually sees Jinwoo I don't know how she got to see him he was like 50 yards away like I'm not I'm blind but how did she see him like that far away and yeah that's the end of the episode guys really really solid one I cannot wait to see what they do in the next episode like is he gonna find like I mean, we still have so many questions like, what is this weird hub that he's seeing? Like, it seems like no one else in the world knows about it. So maybe there's like a special few people that know about it and have it. Maybe it's like the S rank people that get it. I don't know. A lot to figure out in the next episode. So yeah, guys, let me know your thoughts and opinions about it. And I'll see you next one. Peace.